idea is that they're held in cages like this photo, even though it's already been debunked and deleted, the original post was deleted, they're now going to even further lengths by saying that it's concentration camps he wants to put them in. But the real crazy part about their logic is the fact that Obama actually did all what they're claiming Trump is trying to do right now. And they didn't have one peep about any of this. But Kellyanne silences the mainstream media by bringing up the old policy about Obama. I'll go ahead and tune that in right here. You the, the can fact keep that the families together. Why can't you find a way to still Do you potentially want the child in jail? You, you as keep the to families a together. Why don't you create a family detention center? Well, we had those under President Obama, but the Democrats are holding up the funding to expand those. The president had a 70 point immigration plan. This was included in it, Chuck, that expanding, really doubling the detention center capacity, hiring more ICE agents. We don't have the capacity. Those brave men and women at the border who are trying to do their jobs as best they can. This is an issue. And, and if the Democrats are serious, and if a lot of Republicans are serious, they'll come together this year. They won't just talk about this week, the Dreamers, or just the wall, or just catch and release. It's all of the above. And there are ways to repatriate these families back to their home countries expeditiously. But I want to make very clear, because thank you for saying nobody is arguing the kids aren't getting care. A lot of folks are pretending these kids aren't getting care. You have colleagues in your network who are analogizing this to concentration camps and the Nazis. What a disrespectful, an outrageous disrespect to the six million people who who perished at, at uh, that time. Uh, all right, I want to go back. I want to uh, move on. Oh, it looks like Chuck didn't like that answer. It's always funny when someone brings up something that's not a part of their agenda, and they, like, start turning red, and they're like, uh, let's get off that subject really fast. Uh, it's just too funny. But to even further detail this, Representative Henry Roberto Cuella has admitted that Barack Obama secretly threw thousands of migrant children into detention camps and told Democrat politicians to keep quiet about it. He also said that the camps were inhumane and cruel. Amazing how this stuff never gets out, isn't it? There was, according to the Washington Post reporting, uh, you know, a surging number of unaccompanied minors being apprehended at the border. In 2014, there were nearly 70,000, according to the Post reporting. And that same year, there was this viral image of children being kept in a cage at a detention center. Do you see any parallels here? How different is what we're seeing today from these images? In many ways, and I think I was, I don't know what image you're using, but I released some of those photos because it was kept very quiet under the Obama administration. There were large numbers of people coming in. The Obama administration was trying to keep this quiet. And, and I don't know which image you're using, but I let I released some photos uh, that I had gone about those young kids who were kept there. And we're still seeing a, a, a numbers. And, and keep in mind, when they talk about putting some of the young kids in, in those centers, not all of them are being separated. Some of them are coming alone, as, as Ed said mm -hmm. a few minutes ago. Some of them are coming on their own. So it's not a matter that every single uh, child that we have in those centers are being separated because mm -hmm. some of them are coming alone. Uh, keep in mind that under the law, you can separate uh, a child if that, that person, the adult, is not a, the real parent or, or mm -hmm. the custodian. Because sometimes we see situations where they'll bring a child because they know of the policy that we have over mm -hmm. here with children, or at least what we used to have. Or if uh, if there's a criminal offense, and but they're mm -hmm. using this no zero tolerance to to separate, mm -hmm. and that's uh, an area that I think mm -hmm. we need to look at. I mean, I really don't know how many patterns we're going to have to see and show to the libs. For them to realize that this is all hypocritical, that every single thing that they're screaming out, just because it has something that's involving Trump, is automatically deemed as bad, but anything that Obama did was just blessed. So in all reality, they really don't care about any of this stuff. They don't care about migrants being separated from their children, which really shows their actual true colors now, doesn't it? They've actually been showing their true colors for a long time. Every single thing about what they're all complaining about is just all about politics and trying to get rid of President Trump. And that's all it has ever been. I don't even think President Donald Trump can even sneak in a fart without the liberals wanting to go wild with that. And that's definitely the problem that's happening right now in this country. But until everybody actually gets on board with the whole entire movement and actually starts really opening their eyes and actually really paying attention to what's really going on in the world, they need to just sit back and start listening and start observing what's actually really happening and before going on any weird rant protest twitter war 
and attacking every single person you see wearing a MAGA hat, maybe you should do some research first. Because the whole world is looking at you and all they see is an idiot. But what do you guys think about all this? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace! Please subscribe to our channel, like our video, 